got Tomahawk Tommy right here on my chest. What is going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review and the company sent me. So almost like a duo facto, Jamie. Here's the situation. I bought this, right? Because I was like, okay, no one's going to send me this. I don't have that great of a relationship with iJoy. And then I don't really have that great of a relationship with any company that distributes iJoy. So I have to pick it up. Anyway, long story short, pick it up. Get it in the mail a couple days ago. Open it up. Oh, this isn't that bad. And then, not but yesterday, I got another one in the mail. So I guess in my description, I have to link two people. Or I could just return the other item and just keep what I did and don't link shit in the description. I guess it doesn't matter either way which way I'm going. Oh, iJoy. iJoy, iJoy. iJoy has been around for quite some time. And me and iJoy have the most rockiest relationship. To be honest with you, it's not one of those companies that I really hate, but it's a company that would kind of avoid to do a review for one of their products. The RG, the, uh, the IG, the RG R5. That's, that's from Star Wars. That's who that guy is. He's all fucked up. So the iJoy RDTA mini box, I had a problem with. The Capo Squonker, I didn't like. So the iJoy RDTA mini box, had a problem with the button sticking. Capo 100 Squonker, didn't like it just because it didn't give enough of power. There's been so many things that I've had from iJoy that I've had nothing but problems with. Granted, there has been a couple good ones. The Captain X3, which had that shitty battery door, but I liked the mod. Then you had the PD270, the PD18650. This is one of these companies that are basically trying to storm the market and do it smart. Smoke does releasing as many products as possible to try to get their foot in the door to sell as much as they can for people to represent or recognize who this company is. That doesn't necessarily make you a good company. It doesn't make you a piece of shit either. But one of the problems that you run into when you're mass producing so many different products, you run the risk of quality control being absolutely shit. The one that I bought doesn't have batteries in it. The one that was sent to me doesn't have batteries in it either. You ready? You ready for our joy? Cause shit's about to get thick. Let's flip it. iJoy Offender 270 kit voice control. I guess this is due to the whole release of the Avengers movie. I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about copying that kind of style. On the top, really nothing. Sides, absolutely nothing as well. On the one side, we're going to have the color configuration right here and all the other color configurations that it comes in. We're going to have a scratch and sniff. This is going to be stainless steel basketball flavor and scented. On the back side of that, a little bit of information for you. Go ahead and freeze frame that for you iJoy actually brings something solid to the table, or their attempt at being solid. They're trying to implement something that is definitively innovative. The fact that you could talk to the mod to adjust it really says a lot, literally. Smoke is launching their iKin or Ivkin, I-V-K-I-N, the one that actually is a little bit smaller than this, but does the same situation. I guess they're in battle for who can be the king of China and make the most amount of mods at the cheapest price little carbon fiber jammy flip that got the mod right here the tank that it comes with and then on the bottom you're going to have an instruction manual this is going to break down all the different voice commands there's only about nine of them there's nothing that's too crazy you can't really set the wattage to set such wattage when you yell at iJoy and i don't recommend you to yell at her she doesn't respond well sort of like how your wife is right now if you yell at her she won't respond if you're nice and you kind of tickle her ass a little bit maybe buy her some flowers same situation if you buy iJoy flowers and give them to her she's not going to do anything with them so don't even bother either read the manual know how to talk to her or don't talk to her at all boom you know there's a problem is when I'm sticking up for a robot. Coil in the bottom, extra glass, adapters, if you want to use 18650, a, a warranty card, and then a micro USB. First time I've seen an iJoy product that doesn't actually come with batteries. I'm hoping that's not the new trend that they're in, just because they've set a precedence for themselves by utilizing and having batteries inside of the package of a starter kit. This, however, does not do that. Again, it could be just because of how much money they're losing just by including that with every single mod that they make. The Avenger sub ohm tank that does come with the Avenger kit if you do buy it in kit form. That is it on the bottom. This is going to be a mesh sub ohm tank. Now, I've tried a couple of these, and I have had very little to no success with these coils. I absolutely despise the way it tastes. I despise that if it gets semi-dry, it's like a fireball in your mouth, but 
Of course, we're gonna try it. So your drip tip on the top is going to be 810, but there is a double O-ring situation. To fill it up, you're gonna unthread the top up here, which is proprietary and all by itself, individualized. Make sure you clean that when you get it, just because you do got a little bit of funky monkeys on there. Then you fill it up right there through the top. What's really important for anybody new out there vaping is to take the coil, which has, oh my God, that is a lot of cotton. Kind of reminds me of like a, a, a bottle rocket pop, no? You see that? I don't, maybe it's just me. That is a big ass coil. Kind of reminds me of the UL Raphael bottom of the coils. What kind of sandwich do you got on? Oh baby, you, you got what I need. But you, oh baby, you. Whenever you get a brand new coil like this, or if you're just buying this situation, just go ahead and saturate that up a little bit. You're really gonna need that to maintain as much as juice as possible. And this is very, very, very crucial. We're gonna let that sit and put the rest of the tank on so I could fill this up and I can saturate while we talk about the mod. Let me put it to you like this. If you think your TFV8 V12 coil takes a lot of juice, you have another thing coming. The amount of juice that this thing consumes being mesh is absolutely absurd. It's ridiculous, but we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. Let that saturate up. When I first saw this mod, the first thing I thought of is this thing is gonna be absolutely tremendous when I was looking online. I didn't really wanna get it just because I'm not having the best run with iJoy and I hate to just keep being negative over and over and over again because people start to get sick and tired of me not liking anything, as do I. So, here we are again. First off, I can tell you by looking on the outside of this, this doesn't look bad at all. This little situation you see right here is LEDs and it's on both sides of the mod. No, it's not. On the front part of this mod, you're gonna have a little sticker, which you're gonna need to take off, which is protecting the screen. Your up and down buttons, which are located here. And coincidentally enough, that is your lights underneath there as well. Micro USB screen for display on the top for what we could fit. 30 millimeters, no problems. As you can see, a 30 millimeter, I have no problem whatsoever. It kind of does go right to the brim for the bottom of the mod. Battery tray door, we've seen this on so many devices. Again, another industry standard. Push this down, flip it up, and then there is your dual battery configuration. Series situation, positive here, negative there. Dual 2700s. Again, this does not come with batteries, I repeat. And then when you look at the back of this, you'll see that the battery section is not checked off. The battery's in, push down, push it in, rocking and rolling. Let's go over the screen, just because I, I don't even know why we're gonna go over it, because I think it's absolutely ridiculous. What you have is two disgustingly five-star rims. Each one of those blocks of that five-star rim is 20% battery life. Have a little bit of a pulse situation here, saying that, hey, this mod is active. Puffs, is that one? Just because I haven't used it, there's no point of it. 126 watts is what we're sitting at. Now, if you wanna adjust the power, you can press up, you can press down, that's gonna allow you to adjust it. Before we get into the actual voice control, what I'm gonna show you right now is the side menu three clicks one two three that's going to be your menu p is for power t is for temperature we have nickel titanium stainless steel m1 m2 exit go back over to exit because i don't need any of those one two three click back into the menu then you have a light this is going to allow you to adjust these LEDs. Guys, when I tell you, you could configure these shits like crazy. You could go nuts. I'm not gonna do this just because I don't have interest in doing this. You wanna play with this shit like your rainbow bright? Go for it. Pick up the mod, play with the shits, play with the dials. Don't have time for that. One, two, three, go back to the menu. Down here you have a little, nope, that's not what I was trying to go to. Go back, oh, okay. Um, okay. Down here you have these little blocks. What that is is how this hits. Normal, hard, soft, and user. You could do power curves, whatever you want to do. One, two, three. TCR, temperature coefficiency rating, self-explanatory, and then you have a settings bar. The settings doesn't allow you to do much. You can either change the screen time to 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, 120. That's not touch screen, so I don't, I don't know what it did right there. And then you could reset the puffs, and then down here you have your voice, AI, artificial intelligence, on or off. It's that simple. Let me demonstrate the ridiculousness of what this mod could do. Now, before I say anything, you're gonna need to say this to activate whether or not she's listening to what you're saying. And don't misconstrue her for Siri, because Siri is a lot smarter than iJoy is. They're on two different playing fields. Basically, this is elementary version, series, series that's it's when you put two batteries with positive side negative side if so flacto F facto no 
Siri would be the college version of what iJoy is. These are the commands you have. Now, see, I said iJoy, and it did absolutely nothing. That's because I need to say a certain thing to let iJoy know that I need to speak to her. And to do that, well, let's just go over these. These are all the different commands. Now, once you do this, there's no way to reactivate it and turn it on. You have to press the button to open it back up. So here we go. Ready? Silly shit. Test. Hello, iJoy. Hello, iJoy. Hello, iJoy. Okay. There it is, right there. Change color. Change color. Change color. Change color. Romantic light. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what light configuration that is. What makes that romantic? Music. Nope. She, see, it, you saw it shut off, right? Hello, iJoy. Lock device. Unlock device. Hello, iJoy. Shut down. Now, here's the problem. is You think that the mod is off. It's not iJoy is lying to you. If you want to wake her up, you can't flick her. That's not going to work. I know that's what you do with your wife when you want to wake her up in the morning. You can't do that. Making this bitch breakfast is not going to give you any kind of extra head. All you get is what you get. In order to wake her up, you have to press her special button. You know what I'm talking about. Wiki, wiki, DJ Scribbles on the bean. All right. Hello, iJoy. Now, you have this program. You could say whatever you want right now. I don't know why this is not picking up my voice, but usually this... Uh, turn light on. Hello, iJoy. Turn lights on. Lights on. Lights on. Hello, iJoy. Turn light on. Stupid bitch. Turn on light. Oh my god. Hello, iJoy. Hello, iJoy. I have to talk like I'm semi fruity. Turn on light. There it is. Hey. Hey. Music light. Did anybody else see that those wattages went up when I did that? Let's see something. Hey. Hello, iJoy. Hey. Hey. She, she don't like that shit. Okay, let's do this. We're, we, we have to fix the light because what's, what I like, honestly, with these lights is when they're responding to what I'm saying. So let's just, hold on. One, two, three. We're going to fix this up. We're going to go over here to the settings, the light configuration, and then we're going to go down here to the sound mode. So you see right there when I talk, it kind of responds to me. Whip it, whip it. Okay. Do you see? That's a little bit better. Hello, iJoy. Music lights. Test, test. You ready? Uh-oh. Now, I know some people are not going to like this song because it's not for them. But it's for me. Let's do it. Ready? I can play this. So you see that it responds to your voice very much awkwardly. Um, hello, iJoy. Change color. Test. Test. Change color. 
change color. Change color. Okay, so I, I think this is where people are going to start to lose their mind and say, oh my God, this is so friggin' cool. It's moving when I talk. Guys, listen, this feature right here has been out since 1992. People used to put these LEDs in their car and everybody thought they were cool. It wasn't until until 1993 when people realized that that, co that was not cool. That was the exact opposite of cool. That was tool. And that's where tool came off from. Cool tool. Cool beans, right? <laughs> okay. So the way that the power works on this, first off, let's disengage this. Hello, iJoy. Turn off light. Light is now off. Turn off light. Turn off light. Stupid fuck. Hello, iJoy. Light off. There she goes. Hello, iJoy. Power up. 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 Power down. Power down. Power down. <laughs> Not very adaptive now, is it? It's not like Siri. You know, she's, she, she doesn't, she, she, there's really, she has no prejudices. You know, it doesn't matter what you are talking to her, she's gonna respond. She wants that love. Do you see that little pulse that goes by? That's her heartbeat. Hold her. Tell her you love her. Mean something. Hello, iJoy. Let's make love. Let's make love. Tell me you love me. And she shuts off right when I say that. You know what would be cool if I could say, Hello, I joy. Hello, I joy. 80 watts. Doesn't work. 100 watts. Doesn't work. No matter what, you cannot adjust that to said such wattage. The only way to do that is power down and power up. And the only way she's going to respond to you is when you start off the sentence with, Hello, iJoy, this speaker will turn on right there. And then you can say whatever you want to her. Whether or not she's going to respond to you is a totally different story. Again, your command list is not that large. It is very, very, very scarce. Auto power. Auto power, the way that's going to work is that's going to give you the amount of wattage that iJoy thinks that it's uh, the proper amount. Watch. Hello, iJoy. Auto power. Boom. I don't know why she only thinks 50 watts is applicable to like a 0.25, but you have to give her something she's trying. Don't be that asshole. The iJoy Avenger with the voice activated features. Wouldn't it be cool though if it was adaptive like Siri, the more you talk to her, the more she understood your voice and the more she got your slang? I feel like that processor that would need to be inside of this would be quite vast, but it's a good start. Let's bring it on the top. Back on top of the Avenger and the Avenger sub on tank sitting on the top. Let's see some vapor production. 80 watts on their 0.15. Here we go. Wow. The tank that comes with this has an immense amount of flavor. There's no denying that. A lot of people are talking about how much flavor that mesh really has. This is tough because depending on the type of mesh they're using, the actual grade of it, whether it's 200 by 200, 100 by 100, 400 by 400, is depending on how big the square is. Think about a fence, right? Like one of those picket jammies. That's not the right thing. The kind with the fences like at school or at jail, if you've been to jail, you know what I'm talking about, or if you ever went to school, maybe your school didn't have fences. 
Okay. Picture those metal fences that trees wrap around, right? The ones that have the diamond cuts. Now, if you made those square, let's just say that's 800 by 800. 400 by 400 would be that smaller. 100 by 100 would be that much more tinier. The tinier it is, the more space that juice goes. There's a huge debate about this, and there always has been whether or not that kind of mesh as a wicking element, wicking, not heating, will give you more flavor or less. That's rough because I don't have another coil that has a different mesh grade and I'm pretty sure that these companies that are making mesh RTAs or mesh sub ohm tanks, they're not really factoring in the grade of the mesh and whether or not it's stainless steel, canthal, nichrome, no matter what it is. Uh, I'm sure there's something somewhere that says exactly what it is, but there's nothing that I could see on this end as far as the coil that's inside of it. Everybody knows my relationship with iJoy. It's, it's just putrid. It's really bad. But that doesn't mean that I can't recognize a good device when I see a good device. This is 80 watts on the 30 millimeter twisted messes. Let me show you what I'm working with. And that is a 0.27. The voice recognition software on this isn't bad. Do I think it's practical? No. Just like I don't think that Lustro is practical either. Look at the Lustro, the way you wave at it. This, you talk to it. What's next? What's the next part? Is there a hole in the bottom? Let's go over some of the pros and cons. First off, the cons, because I always like starting off negative. Oh, I should probably finish off negative. No, let's start off. The user interface is absolutely horrendous. As much time as they spent developing the actual chip that recognizes your voice and the things you say to determine what to do with the mod, you would think that they would have made the screen that much better. Then again, iJoy hasn't really made delicious, lovely looking screens before. Look at the PD270, the PD18650. It's just a very, very bare bones, basic user interface. And they did the same thing with this. I think the car looks corny. I don't know what car that's supposed to be. Those are the shittiest looking rims. The user interface on this just does not work. And I have to deduct a point or two from that because that's what we're looking at. This mod isn't something that you could use with no hands and only use it based off of commands because it doesn't auto fire. But then if it did, oh, that would be catastrophic. There may be some hidden things inside of this menu, but I'm not gonna sit here and talk to a mod for five hours to try to figure out what it wants to hear or the little secret things that it can do or maybe even talk back I can't find a speaker on it but I did find the microphone the microphone is in the micro USB when you're looking at the bottom you're not going to really be able to see it very well there's two little ports and that's where the microphone is at unless of course I don't know what I'm talking about and the microphone is up by the 510 which would explain why um, it's not there because I, I don't my first assumption is where the holes are in the micro USB. The mod isn't bad. I don't know if I would recommend this over other iJoy products. I definitely won't recommend this over other products of this caliber, meaning something like the RX Gen 3 Dual. Amazing piece. Small, compact. It does get hot, but it has as much as power as this does, and it's a lot more compact. Of course, you can't talk to it. And again, who the hell really needs to talk to a mod? Unless you're that lonely where you need that artificial friend. Maybe invest in a Teddy Ruxpin. He was really cool. You put the tape on his back, mouth moved, kind of freaky. Looked like a really hairy Chucky doll. Heidi Ho! That's... Teddy, that's, that's Chucky. The bar on the side of this, the fire, reminds me that much more of smoke. Now you'll see that smoke is also releasing side by side their version of this that's a little bit taller, has a different tank, probably a TF-75, and basically they just kind of improved on some of the things here. They wanted iJoy to break the ice, go out there, let people know about artificial intelligence and speak into your mod so they can release it. I hope that this isn't where we're going because to me this is something that is gimmicky. I have a feeling that people are going to buy this device for the sheer factor of the funness of being able to speak to the mod but after about 10 minutes you're not going to do it anymore. It's a one-time thing. It's like fishing. Some people could do it for 20 seconds and they lost interest already. Some people do it for days. You may speak to this mod for days. I don't think it's horrible. I think the artificial intelligence isn't bad for what it is, especially being the first of its kind. 
I can't rate this high though. Not just because it's iJoy, just because of the user interface on this for the price point that you're paying is very, 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 very affordable, but it doesn't come with batteries. Last time I checked, all iJoy products came with batteries, and this is something I mentioned a few reviews ago with iJoy, that if they keep releasing mods that have batteries, when they release a mod that doesn't have batteries, people are going to be upset. Yet here we are. Now granted, you can buy this with batteries, but the two that I got, one from a factory and one that I bought, neither have batteries inside of it. And again, I have so many iJoy batteries from all the mods that I bought, it doesn't really matter. How would I rate this device? On a zero? to 10. I'm gonna put it somewhere in the middle, we're gonna go five. I don't think it deserves a four because it does work. The functionality is there. Even if you don't like talking to the mod, you can still get this to work just by touching it without having to talk to it. A five. I, and I can't go any higher. Even if it talked back, there's just absolutely no way. You would have to fix that interface ASAP. Like that would be the first thing. That is literally taking a lot of points off. Now, of course you could sit there and say, well, it should be a six. No, no, it's not a six because a six I may use, a seven I may use, a 5.5 I may even use, a five I will not. This will go on a shelf. It's just gonna sit there and it's gonna be a conversation piece. And hopefully it gets to the point where you can release firmware for this, where it actually does hold a conversation with you. Because I've always wanted that one friend that I never have to worry about them leaving me or not loving me anymore. And this would be just that. And her name is iJoy. And I've kept it real. Have you? She has as well. Jay, he's out.